Forest Wellbeing Project has just started recently in the last six to eight months and it's a project in Forest in the northeast of Scotland and what it does is that it offers free classes to people who are over 50 in Forest. So since autumn last year we've had weekly classes of yoga, meditation and mindfulness, um, gentle exercise, there's been arts and crafts, a general arts and crafts class and a more specific creative class which is textile and fabric painting. I'm Joan Grant, I come from Forest. I suffer from poor mental health. So I've been coming for a few weeks now and I've made a bag which I've never done in my life before. I was really chuffed about that. Along I came and I was really inspired and motivated by Dawn. She's a really good teacher and uh, she's really got us going great, made lots of things and I'm really amazed at what I've actually achieved. My remit here was to um, work with people in such a way that they would gain confidence in themselves and in the skills. It seems to bring to me and other folk a sense of calm, um, a sense of relaxation. This is the last of eight sessions of mindfulness with Margot. I relax and I'm aware I'm relaxing and I wasn't necessarily aware that I was that stressed. So I think there are many benefits of doing mindfulness. Uh, one is to really help people be fully present for their lives as they're living them not lost in the past, not lost in the future. I see how people come in the door in the very beginning and how people go out the door at the very end. And I hear uh, their stories about what a difference it's made to them. It continually re-inspires me in uh, feeling this work is really valuable, it's really beneficial. Margot is excellent, I have to say. Uh, I find her really, she makes you relax. It's very, very good. Before I would have rushed from A to B without noticing the, the plants, the smell that they give out and the feel. Relaxing is important because life is all such a rush for most people. Today we're finishing up doing our wonderful fabric painting classes which have been a gift and a revelation to me particularly because the new way of teaching that allows you to just do it is just brought out things I never knew I had. My greatest or joy or reward out of it is when I, I get messages off the ladies saying well the exercises have helped them either overcome an ailment or give them more confidence or make them feel better about themselves. Something changes within them physically which as a result changes their whole attitude, their whole mindset, their whole being as a person and the whole self-image of what they, they think they couldn't do before. The body curves movement and mobility and the mind craves stillness. The project is funded by a joint partnership supported with Transition Town Forest and the People's Health Trust. And the People's Health Trust is an organisation that's really about trying to support health and wellbeing in the UK. And Transition Town Forest is a community organisation which is part of a global network of transition towns that are trying to support communities to be more sustainable, more resilient in the face of climate change and environmental challenges. Yeah, I took part in Kerry's uh, yoga class which was on a Tuesday morning and it was absolutely fabulous. I loved it. As a result of this class I do do yoga. I try and do a bit of yoga every morning which I've never done before. And there was at least one person who hardly really came out at all and it was great to see her coming out and to really be sociable and to get a lot out of it and I know that was you know, quite a, a unique thing for her. She did something she didn't do very much and that was lovely to see that as well. Yeah, I would really love to come back and do more with her. The idea was gather people together, do something together, go away feeling like you've connected, you've participated, you've filled yourself up, you've uplifted yourself, that kind of thing. It's been, you know, amazing because I've enjoyed it so much. A couple of weeks ago, my nephew, his girlfriend, had a baby, so um, I made him bunting in the, you know, by having learned the skill, 
and um, I'd done the baby's initial on each one and I was happy to send such a unique gift. A really important thing about the classes is that they're free and that transport is free and the really basic fundamental ethos of that whole thing is just that money should not be a barrier to people accessing community. Social connection and social health is really important and it's part of well-being as well as physical health and mental health. They're all connected. Uh, this time last year I was on a lot of medication. I was not a well person. I'm so grateful that I got this opportunity because I'd read about how beneficial mindfulness and meditation would be. Um, I also got the opportunity to go to the yoga class and that's the other thing. And I'm just so happy to tell you that I'm off all the medication and um, and I keep I do monitor my blood pressure and it's absolutely fine. So I, I just can't I can't tell you how grateful I am for having had this opportunity because although I'd read about it in books, there is something quite magical about taking part in a group. The reason why this project was seen as important and why Transition Town Forest wanted to create this project was about trying to support um, social connection in communities. Um, there is a dilemma, a problem happening all over the world, well Western world at the moment, about disconnection and isolation, loneliness, these are things that are happening in our communities all over the place. And I think Transition Town Forest felt that it was an important thing to try and do something positive, to try and connect people in the community. I'm absolutely amazed at how they've just come out of the shells. I really am. Throughout the whole project, you know, they meet up. They meet up beyond here. They've, they organise other groups that they all now go to. Um, they've, they've become real strong friends with each other, actually. Um, a lot of us have got together and meet on other days and do other things that we probably wouldn't have done at all. And uh, quite a few of us are going on holiday in September together, so that's that's great but and I wouldn't have done that either. It's sometimes hard when you get up that day and think can I do this and it might be a struggle to get here but once you're here you know you've done it and it's a great achievement. One of the really fundamental things about the project is that it's co-directed with a steering group so that's people from the community who are involved in the project and they have a really strong voice in saying what this project is about, what its values should be, um, how it's directed, what classes we should offer. It comes from people who are involved with the project or, or who are at the classes already. They come together um, voluntarily, they give their time and their energy to say this is the kind of project we'd like and this is what we think would work. We've got a really strong group at the moment and hopefully over the next year more people will join as the classes keep going. So by the end of the two years, there hopefully, and it seems like there will be because there's a really good group of people at the moment, the people will be supporting the project and they'll feel, yeah, they, they, they've got the, the strength and the support they need to just keep it going. Yeah, I'm just really grateful that it was available. I really appreciate the people who put it together and that I was able to be part of it, so thank you really a well-being project and the warmest meaning of the word. The joy of being alive. It's fantastic being alive by the way and you need to appreciate it. especially as you get older like me you know you never know when you're gonna croak like so you may as well enjoy the day.